Panda, 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 panda. I got brides in Atlanta, just to me in the family. Credit cards and scams, getting the licks in the bank. Legacies. Hello and welcome to you all once again in Learn Mode YouTube channel. Today again I am here with one new basic program, which is as in your screen. Write a program to enter one number and find out its multiplication table. Okay, let's get into the program. At first, CLS that helps to clear the screen. Now, as in the question, at first we will enter one number and find out its multiplication table. Suppose if I enter five, then our output should come five ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty, up to five tens are fifty. This is your output like this it should come okay let me enter one number at first by using input statement input inside double inverted comma enter one number double inverted comma close semicolon a a numeric variable i am using to store number now what i'm going to do is now i'll use loop statement before using loop statement, I would like to say what is looping. Looping is a set of instructions that helps to repeat the block of a statement until the given condition is satisfied. Once again, looping is a set of instructions that helps to repeat the block of a statement until the given condition is satisfied. Now I will use loop statement for i is equal to 1 to 10. Why 1 to 10? Because we are going to display 10th term like this 5 1 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10, 5 3 is a 15, like this way up to 5 10 is a 50, altogether 10th term. So for i is equal to 1 to 10. Now we will write here block of a statement that repeat frequently. Now let me use here rock 5 so 1 is a 5. Now this is your row. Suppose if I enter here five. Suppose I am telling. Suppose if I enter five, then I should get output like this five one the five. Now in the same way here. Sorry, in the same way five one the five five two the ten like this way. I should see here. Now. Now what I am going to do is, now I will prepare block of statement, print by taking the help of this rock, ok, print 5 means whatever number we entered, suppose if I enter 10, then here it should come 10, so at first print A, then whatever number we enter it comes like this, then we have to make this a multiplication sign. Before making that multiplication sign, I will use semicolon. Why semicolon? Because we are displaying horizontally. If you want to display anything horizontally in QBasic, then you have to use semicolon. Then after multiplication sign, we have to use here double inverted comma. Why double inverted comma? Because we want to see any sign symbol exactly same in the output screen then we have to use inside double inverse comma then after again we use semicolon because it is in horizontal way again semicolon semicolon then after one this one means let's use i the value of i is also one now here it is one <coughs> But in second term, what it became? The value of value will be increased by 1. It will become 5 into 2. In the same way, in next term, 5 into 3, 5 into 4, up to 5 into 10. It will become. We will increase the value of i by 1, then it becomes 5. Okay, now is equal to sign. Same is equal to sign should be displayed. To display anything same in the output string, we use double inverted comma, double inverted comma is equal to sign. Now again semicolon, it is going horizontal way. So now 5. How this 5 comes? By multiplying 8 
Into I and whatever number we enter. Suppose if we enter five, and five into one, it becomes five. If we enter here ten, then here also it comes ten. Multiply sign. Here the value of I is one at first one equals to sign because we have written inside double number to comma again ten. Here A will is to ten. I will is to one. 10 into 1, 10. This way, press enter. Now, next, I will increase the value of i by 1. And after, this is our program. Let me explain again. Now, at first CMS, then after enter any one number, suppose if I enter 5 here, then for i is equal to 1 to 10. Why 1 to 10? Because we are going to display up to 10th term. Now, Print A. A means 5. Here just I suppose that I enter 5. So print A means it will display 5 like this. Then after semicolon, then it will display horizontally like this, same way. And X multiplication sign, same like this multiplication sign. I means the value of I is 1. This is rough, okay? The value of I is 1. Now it became here. 5 multiplication sign 1 same like this it is going to prepare like this same in the row and again equals to sign equals to sign a the value of a is 5 and the value of i is 1 5 into 1 5 it will display like this way it will display now next i the value of i is increased by 1 now it begins to now checking the condition condition is satisfied then it will repeat this block of the statement Print A means again it will display 5 into same into sign. Now the value of I became 2. Before it was 1, now it became 2. 2 is equal to A. A means this A means 5 into I means now the value of I is 2. 5 into 2, 10 it became. Now we got the second term. Now the value of i is again increased by 1. Next i, it became 3. Now checking the condition for i is equal to 1 to 10, the condition is satisfied. Again, print a. a means 5. Suppose we enter 5. a again, multiplication sign i, the value of i is 3. Now is equal to sign, is equal to sign. Then after a. The value of a is 5 into the value of i is now 3. Uh, 3 is 15. Now in the same way, the value of i is again increased by 1. We got the third term. Now it became 4. In the same way, second condition, condition is satisfied. And then it is displaying print a. a means we suppose that we enter 5. So it will display 5 multiplication sign i. The value of i is now 4 is equal to now the value of i is sorry a is 5 and into i is 4 by 4 is 20 it comes in the same way the loop will run up to 10th term then when the value of i became 11 the condition does not satisfy then after we got all 10th term up to 5 tens are 50 then after finally the condition is not satisfied then this loop will be end and our QVC program also end okay let's create this the rock now let's check our output by pressing f5 from keyboard f5 enter any one number let me enter seven let's see we'll get table of seven up Yes, 7 1 is 7, 7 2 is 14, 7 3 is 21, up to 7 10 is 70. In this way, you can find out the multiplication table. In the same way, let's enter next number. Okay. 300, 300, the table of 300. In this way, you can find out the multiplication table of inter number. Hope you understood the QVC program. If you are new in this YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. If you have any confusion, comment below so I will reply you.